Have you seen this video? Have you? Oh, I was so young and pretty then. Wasn't I pretty? Oh, I had the... Oh, wait a minute. There's food. Get out of my way. Okay, well, I guess I didn't... I, I'm not on my channel much. I didn't realize there was 96,000 views from six over the last six years since I posted that. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you. So this person, Luz Viminda Satore, ek three coal. Hope I didn't butcher that too bad. Uh, is it good for low hemoglobin? Well, that's a great question, but what's at the root of your hemoglobin issue? That's what you really need to know first. Is it iron or something else? Because if it's iron, calcium blocks the body's ability to absorb iron. You need things to help iron be absorbed into the body. Fermentations that are rich in vitamin C, D, potassium, sodium, magnesium, etc. So what would examples of that be? Kraut, number one, kraut. I cannot recommend kraut enough. You all know it's my favorite. Well, kind of hard, carrots and kraut, carrots and kraut, because the carrots are also good in the kraut. If it's something else, if it's not iron related, a diet rich in red animal meats technically should help to stabilize low hemoglobin issues, but it's not a cure right? It's like this is what I learned in my own journey with anemia. There's something about my blood cells or something about the way that iron is created. In my body, there's two ways that I make that happen. One is through fermented foods and the other is by making sure that I eat sufficient red meat. It has to be animal meat. So whether that's beef or lamb or bison, it doesn't matter. It has to become your dietary lifestyle. And this is the principle of food as medicine. When you realize that there's no cure, because nobody really knows what's causing it, I hope you've all figured that out by now. So then let go of that. Why are you struggling to find an answer that nobody has? Just acknowledge that this is what your body needs to be healthy. So thank you for the question. It was freaking awesome. And that's it for today. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for the question. Bye.